and uh, welcome back and today I have again something cool it is the it is the Marconi it's again a frequency counter it has Nixies and it's from 96 uh, between 96 and 72 and this one is from 72 that is my year uh, it's supposed to work it is the Marconi uh, TF2414A uh, but it's also uh, rebranded as a uh, Fenner uh, let me see here, it's the Fender uh, 6636 or the TSA 6635 and they have little changes here in the middle but the rest it's exactly the same uh, it counts up to 2 MHz and the, the, the cool thing is, and we'll see later um, usually if you set the gate time to 10 seconds it just updates every 10 seconds you see what the frequency is so you're actually waiting this counter is really counting and you see it counting so if you set it to 2 seconds you see it quickly count for 2 seconds first I thought what is happening but uh, we will see later I'm not going to show you immediately uh, so uh, we're going to zoom in well here you see it uh, close up uh, yeah, you see of course it is a little bit dusty and this is probably with silver coating so it's turned black so we try to clean this and uh, but the rest it looks good the display has a little scratch here so maybe we can polish it out we're going to try that I see screws so maybe it's not that easy to take apart and clean so uh, if we turn it around you see it came from Philips apparently it doesn't say a date but I see numbers well it has a stand it is a screw missing that is a pity As you can see yeah it is a bit dusty it hasn't been used for a while probably and uh, oh look at this official Marconi serial number from Koning Hartman is the import okay and it even has an external reference uh, we need to find out how much it, uh, the reference is um, maybe it's again uh, 1 MHz like the other old uh, Marconi's but you can switch it from internal to external so we can play with that a bit and uh, well, I just actually wondering what it looks like inside so let's open it up okay and here we have it and uh, as, I, as I said the Fenner also uh, <laughs> and it actually says here Fenner Electronics Limited so at least the power supply is uh, already from the, the Fenner so it's not Marconi at all um, yeah it, it seems that here we have the oscillator in the back here I don't see yet where to adjust it but it looks like well, I will zoom in on that and it all works with these module cards that you can uh, yeah pull in or pull out and I will zoom in just a second <laughs> Yeah, and as you can see all the Nixies here every Nixie has his own card his driver card so we have one two three four five six Nixies and we have six more or less the same of the interface cards so in the logic cards are, are here and maybe if we have a look like this and all the cards say Fenner Fender Electronics, Fender Electronics, Fender Electronics. So in that sense, it's it's not a Marconi at all. Um, yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's a little dusty inside. So what I I do want to take out the cards, but I really need to number them because I really don't want to put them back the wrong way. Uh, because it is working. So I like to see if I can have a better access. So I will also open up the, the bottom. Oh 
but this is the, the bottom as you can see and they connected all the cards with the power leads like this and here you can see here is the input stage that goes here into the first card and then here it goes out and here it goes I think to the to the display unit or something so uh, I think we can take out the card by card okay I'm gonna take out the cards uh, one by one but I will number them because I really want to get them back uh, the same uh, place so I'm carefully gonna pull it out and look at this one XE one driver card this is really sweet <laughs> cool it's a VE tested 20 and uh, yeah. okay Nixie driver board Fenner electronics also now I will mark this as one Well, we have a little bit of a difference between the first four cards as we have here and the card five and it also has a different color in the handles so if you can see but i think it's because of the dot because the first uh, of the lot position need to be able to shift the dot so i think that's why they have here a few extra and as you can see card 6 again a little bit different and uh, yeah I don't know maybe it needs to display also something else but uh, okay we continue with taking out the cards <laughs> okay I have taken out all the boards uh, the other boards look a little bit different because this is the input stage so they will have some uh, amplification because we can here have the sensitivity and uh, well some more and some more and we have the logic board with the dividers uh, it's the t it is the 7490 so that is that and then we have a look inside but I said that it needed the Nexus needed to do a dot but that is not the case so maybe they cannot even do that if we see here in the front you see three little sticks and they do the dots <laughs> and it's just done by the switches yeah so let me see if I can put the lighting in here yeah, like this here you have the sticks they do the words oh, heavy they do the dots so but now we already have a better look to do the cleaning and uh, let's see what we can do with the oscillator <laughs> oh yeah we have the oscillator uh, I have a little bit of this plate is in the way so I'm trying to make sure that you have a, a good as possible look and uh, it's a it's a cathodian and it's from uh, Cambridge England and it is a crystal oven and it is type 2 ms so that's two milliseconds and it is 75 degrees and it can do 6 and 12 volts um, and now we have a few from the top I'm trying to make a zoom and it seems that here we can adjust when needed so that's the only adjustment I see and it has a cap so maybe we can just open it I'm just wondering what is inside or you just take out the whole uh, oscillator let's have a look
So, and this is how you change the fender into a Marconi, just by changing uh, the front. And now uh, we also have a better access uh, to clean everything. And the switches and the pots. As you could see, I was struggling a bit with uh, my Imbus. It's a, it's a hex key, but uh, of course I have metric ones. And these are uh, Imperials, inches, English. So, uh, but those fit. Let's start cleaning. Well, the, the front is uh, clean and uh, the display looks a lot better, but it still has a few, few scratches. So I'm gonna try again uh, with my uh, brush cleaner to polish those little scratches out and then the display will be super clear. Look at this, the display is super bright, the dots are very clear to see. The only thing we need to check now, if it works. I already switched it on, you could see it when I uh, put on the covers. It, uh, meanwhile it was heating, so it should be uh, stabilized uh, right now. Okay, let's see what it does. Uh, I have here uh, 10k. We just start uh, small. And because it only goes to 2 MHz, so uh, 10 is good for me. It was already switched on. I can hear the thermostat even. You have put, click. So uh, it is doing that sensitivity to maximum set to frequency okay the memory button was on so uh, that wasn't good and now i'm going to show you what a real counter why it's called a counter because here you can actually see it i put it now on uh, 10k well here it's in the case so it says 10k and if i put the reset button it will count well that was very quick then you saw it count bloop 10 zero, zero. then we do another gate time this is what i mean 21 so this is a one second uh, gate time and you can really see it count and in those modern counters you don't see that you just see nothing and then you get an update later when the gate closes no, but here is nice because you can see it count. And then if you put, I think it's 10 seconds, you can really see it count. Plum! <laughs> Fun, right? 
I'm doing now uh, one megahertz. Yeah, it's now in overload. One, one, two, three, four. Uh, I can do a lot higher, I think. Two. Three? It actually does three? Uh -huh. oh, hi. How high does it go? I thought it went to two megahertz. Let's go to ten. Mm -hmm. It does that also. I need to read the book again. Forty. Yes. <laughs> well, I was just looking in the book, it actually goes to 40 megahertz. I've got the official service manual. Look, all the schematics, everything, everything is here. That's very nice. And here you can see it's from February 72. Yeah, so it goes up to 40, it says. Oh, we are already at 41, 42, 43, 50. Now, then starts losing it. Starts losing count. Hmm. 46 megahertz. Nice. Okay, I'm just uh, checking. I'm putting exactly... 10 uh, megahertz as you can see it says exactly 10 and if you say here in the back the internal oscillator should run on 2 well, as you can see it's 1.9999999995 and if we wait it goes slowly goes up to 2 again and it just goes uh, a little bit up and down up and down there but this is 2 this is really 2 megahertz <laughs> it, as you can see now, yeah, it just goes up and down with the uh, temperature, and uh, it's just keeping it around the uh, two. Wow! After so many years, and the display is so bright. Yeah, it's super nice. So that's it. I'm really happy with the result. It looks amazing. The display is super clear. And it's still uh, pretty accurate and I thought it only went up to 2 megahertz and it was actually 40 in the book and uh, we t tested up to 45 megahertz so uh, yeah really happy with this and uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time